Very good morning, everybody. We have a few more minutes, a couple of minutes to go, and we should start exactly at 11 a.m. We'll be exactly starting in two minutes. So, guys, hold on. You can grab your popcorn, and drink and sit, relax. All right, so it's 11 o'clock. So, very good morning, everybody, and welcome to the cooking live session on Facebook with Amul in collaboration with Don Bosco College Hospitality Studies. Today is the 449th day of this session, which is also termed as world's largest live cooking platform and the show, of course. So myself, my name is Melroy Gomes. I'm a chef at Don Bosco College Hospitality Studies. Before we start, I would like to thank Ma'am Albert and Sashan sir, who has always been supportive and giving, and continuously keep on giving us the opportunity to showcase our talent on this wonderful platform. So without wasting time, I'm gonna tell you what are we doing today. All the early birds must have already seen my sleigh, which would tell the name of the dish. The name of my dish is cauliflower Thai green curry version 2.0. Now, Thai green curry, we most often know about the ingredients and we know how it is made. Okay, so this is a version 2.0, which means the base ingredient are almost the same but there are different there's a different way of presentation and there are different methods of cooking now in today's version of a thai curry i'm using one particular vegetable which is the cauliflower so let's get started now here as you can see my table is full of ingredients so we're gonna start off first in bits and pieces 
So we're going to make all the elements and then, you know, combine everything together, compile everything together and create this amazing, amazing curry. So first thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Thai aromatics. These are Thai aromatics from which I have lemongrass, I have the Thai ginger, which is the galangal. I've just roughly sliced everything. Couple of lemon leaves and the lemongrass skin. So I'm using the head, the bulb of the lemongrass and also the green part of the lemongrass. So we're going to first create an infusion. Now this, since it's a vegetarian recipe, I'm not going to use any kind of stock into it. I'm going to use pure coconut milk. Pure coconut milk. Now I've already squeezed some coconut milk. So I've taken two coconuts. I have squeezed out the milk. The milk what I got from two coconuts was 300 ml. In that, I have used Amul Fresh Cream. So, Amul Cream has already been added in here. That was 100 ml. So, the total weightage of this coconut milk and Amul Cream is 400. Once again, I am telling you, it is 300 ml of coconut milk freshly squeezed and 100 ml of Amul Fresh Cream. So, first things first, I am going to drop this in the pan directly. Now, pan. I've used a stainless steel pan so you can view it properly. It has a nice width. I have not put on the gas as of now. So first I'm gonna pour the milk. Nice and creamy. The creaminess has come because of the amul fresh cream. Otherwise the coconut milk is normally quite thin. So it needs that body. That body has come from the amul fresh cream. Next, I'm gonna use the Thai aromatics. The galangal, just few because very strong in flavor. Lemongrass and the lemon leaves. Lemon leaves you can put whole or you can just tear it. I would love to tear it so that the infusion happens quite easily and it's a nice and strong and flavorful. So now I'm going to put, a, put on my gas, very low flame and we're going to allow these all Thai aromatics to leave its flavor in this nice creamy velvety coconut milk okay so we allow it to infuse basically so i'm using a wooden spoon now just to give it a stir and we leave it all alone now infusion can go from 10 minutes if you want a stronger flavor you can go up to 30 minutes or maximum 45 minutes so to create a great aroma in your coconut curry this infusion is very very important and as much time you can give it possibly give it allow it to infuse and then this is you are ready to go product it's used directly in the end now i've not seasoned this at all there's no salt nothing i've added i'm going to add it after i strain this so now on a very low flame i have left it this is our first element which is the base of the curry. I am going to leave it for infusion. Next one, a very interesting one, why it is named as version 2.0 is I am going to use mayonnaise in this recipe. First, I am going to create a vegetable mayonnaise and I am going to create, using the mayonnaise, I am going to create an emulsion with basil and coriander. That probably would give us nice robust flavor of the Thai curry okay so to make the veg mayonnaise first you can use any kind of blender I'm going to use this soup blender to make the vegetarian mayonnaise we need oil we need milk here I'm using Amul gold milk we need some vinegar and sugar so we're gonna start off first with milk now you may be wondering milk and vinegar won't the milk split no you have to be quick with this if you wait you add the milk you add the vinegar if you wait then it might split so we're not gonna waste any time we're gonna go and go and do this vegetable mayonnaise really very fast now the cup what i'm using is a half cup recipe which is 125 ml of it so again almond gold milk nice and thick as you see it covers 
so one cup of milk there you go one cup in that i'm adding two cups of oil any oil is fine i'm using regular vegetable oil it's all the game of the oil two cups of oil immediately i'm going to add the sugar and vinegar together so this is vinegar it's hardly 5 ml of vinegar and here is 10 grams of sugar in this i'm using fine grain caster sugar it is easily blends now this goes in the blender so please bear with me for the sound there would be a little sound. so that's an emulsion you are using Maximum time you need to blend is about five to ten seconds, and here you see an amazing mayonnaise already created. Okay, that's my mayonnaise. That's my main base, main flavor. It's nice and thick. Now in here, my mayonnaise is ready, ready to go. Now I'm going to make an emulsion out of it. To make the emulsion, I'm going to use two main ingredients. that gives the thai curry its flavor one is the basil a basil and fresh coriander one cup each or you could go equal amounts of basil and coriander so i'm going to use the basil just the leaves basil leaves in here coriander in here now i'm going to season this with a little bit of salt just a little bit of salt would do the job so Salt is here. Again, I repeat. At uh, first, I made the mayonnaise using one cup of milk, two cups of oil, five ml of white vinegar, and ten grams of any type of sugar. I probably personally advise is the fine grain known as caster sugar, because as you see, the blending is not much. It takes about between five and ten seconds. I usually use the soup blender because it gives me an option of pulsing it so you press it leave it press it leave it quick blending if you use a mixer you just have to put it on put it off put it on put it off as far as it emulsifies correctly if you leave it on for a longer period of time there's an heat there's heat generated into this blender so that probably harms the mayonnaise okay so now once my mayonnaise was done i have added equal amount of basil and coriander into it now again i'm going to blend all this together and create an emulsion known as basil and coriander emulsion so again please bear with me for the sound now the best part about this blender is it has a stirrer which allows me to mix everything so i'm going to remove the cap from top and this will help me to stir inside and again pulsing it another 10 seconds for all to get mixed and there we go we have are ready to go emulsion show you here so there you go that's how it looks like it's nice and green color it's not like bright green color but yes it's light green color so i would If you want to make it into a paste, much more purified version, you can do, of course. But I like to have those chunks of coriander and basil. That's what gives out a nice, nice flavor at the end. So that's the second element which is ready. Okay. So now we can put this either in a squeezy bottle like this, or you can use a piping bag where it's easy to pipe. or you can use a spoon to spoon it out 
all right so two of our elements already done as it is nice and simple recipe i'm going to leave this on one side and we work on the third element so the third element is cauliflower now i have taken some cauliflower already blanched it for cut them into florets and i have blanched them for about 3 minutes now i'm going to use amul butter in the pan non stick pan and i'm going to sear it i'm going to sear it probably char them not even sear i would char them the nice dark brown color like caramelize them completely so that gives that adds that smokiness and the roastiness to your curry because as you see there are nice and mild ingredients into it coconut milk lemon grass galang basil coriander so that adds that uh, smokiness to it so let's start with that again probably low medium medium to low because it's already cooked the meanwhile i would just give it my give my emulsion a nice stir as i could i wish you could smell the aroma of it the aroma is fantastic of the galangal the lemon grass if you want a stronger flavor of course you can add more of it and you can use a lesser time to probably you know infuse i'm going to leave that and come to our pan where we going to caramelize our cauliflower i'm using amul butter i think better than that to flat to use so generous amount of amul butter in the pan we allow the butter to melt and then we could add our cauliflower into it before adding the cauliflower i would though this butter is salted i would always season my pan at is little bit seasoning is always must if there's no seasoning there won't be any flavor at the end so i'm going to season everything in small small amounts so seasoning the pan with salt while blanching the cauliflower also in the water i'd use little bit of salt so now it's almost melted there you go i have cut the cauliflower into florets so it gives me one flat edge which i would just lay down and allow it to caramelize that's probably the last element so we seen three elements first one infusing of coconut milk second we made mayonnaise and we created an emulsion of coriander and basil and third is just coloring or caramelizing the cauliflower we're going to leave it all alone and try we try and use a lower flame for it again for the coconut milk we keep on stirring it so that it doesn't stick at the bottom there you go again i have used freshly squeezed coconut milk that squeezed this morning coming to the cauliflower we allow it to nice have that color so i'm going to leave this cauliflower all alone for a while non stick pan preferably to be used I could put my emulsion in the mix in the squeezy bottle. Do you see the cauliflower started cooking? Do you see the noise? You can hear the noise, the searing noise. The emulsion is getting ready on one side. Mm, very aromatic, very very aromatic. Actually, galangal, lemon leaves. Lemon grass do a good job. A lot of flavor in there. 
So if you're thinking, by the way, this is cooking, if you're thinking if you want to be a chef, you want to join hotel management college, you want to do hospitality studies, we are here to help you. You can find us on Facebook and on Instagram. The handles are named as Don Bosco College Hospitality Studies. You can just drop out a message and an executive will definitely reach you within minutes. Alright. There you go. Nice caramelized. Nice here. Now on the other side. Likewise, in a Thai curry, we would cook our vegetables. Now put off the gas. We would cook our vegetables in the coconut base. Here, I am just cooking everything individually and I'm going to compile everything in one dish in a bowl or in a plate and whatever you're serving alright again that's ready I put off the gas I'm going to rest it there I'm going to leave it there it is nice and glossy coated with the butter that I've used in this alright now if you come to my coconut infusion now the coconut infusion is almost ready. I'm not going to cook it for more long. Again, put off the gas. Now, I'm going to strain all of this using a soup strainer. Okay, so here I have my glass bowl and the soup strainer. Any fine strainer would work. Not too fine. So I have my glass bowl, soup strainer. I'm going to lift the pan. Be careful, sometimes the pan gets hot. And I'm gonna strain the whole curry. Okay? Now this pan has a lot of goodness. So I'm gonna use the same pan. This has a lot of goodness. So as you see this, all these Thai aromatics which are in here, we are not gonna throw that. You can use it, you can blend it, and you can make a nice Thai curry, authentic Thai curry with it. Now this coconut milk back into the pan. And we allow it to sit in there. Okay? I'm going to remove the bowl and the pan. Alright. Now coming to conclusion of it, compiling of the whole dish. I'm just going to give it a wipe. It's very important. Clean as you go. Very, very important. Alright. Now, we're going to plate the dish. To plate the dish, I have a kadai. I'm going to use this kadai. So first thing would go is our cauliflower. Actually, spoon won't work here. I'm going to use my hand. So cauliflower in here. Nice generous amount because it's the main ingredient and the only vegetable that I'm using into this Thai curry. Whereas you can use Multiple vegetables of your choice or a specific one. Because the love for cauliflower for me is immense. I love cauliflower. Okay. See, look, it adds to the color. I'm just piling it up. There you go. It's smell it nice and easy. Alright, there you go. All my cauliflower is in the bowl. In my present pink bowl, presentation bowl. Next, I have put the emulsion in the squeezy bottle. The emulsion what we made using mayonnaise, coriander, basil. Alright, we give it a nice shake. And I'm gonna drizzle a generous amount. When using a squeezy bottle, always hold the bottle over here with the two fingers so that even if the bottle, the cap pops out, you know you have a support for it. Nice generous amount. This adds a nice silkiness, gives nice creaminess to the entire curry. Nice generous amount of it. Generous, generous amount because that's the flavor. I'm basically covering the whole cauliflower. Okay. Next is this infused coconut milk. I'm going to use a sauce boat to pour out because that's easy here you go so 
So now that mayonnaise is kind of gonna fall apart because this is heat and there is a lot of oil into that mayonnaise. Coconut milk comes in there. Next, I'm gonna add some elements into it. So probably first would be this nice pickled chilies with help in presentation. This is a sweet and sour chili combination. Now the chilies that are used in Thailand are the bird eye chilies. So I've used those tiny bird eyes, I've cut them into a nice angle and I've brined them with an amazing solution which is made with vinegar, water, sugar, salt and some spices. If you want to avoid the chilies, you can. But here I have pickled them, so no problem. It's sweet and sour. It will have the heat, but not so much. Alright, next, I'm going to use puff rice. All the condiments that could go in a Thai dish. Some puffed rice. Next would be peanuts. I've roasted them. Nice peanuts, some in the gravy as well, so you have the bite in the dish. Some peanuts in there. Next, I'm gonna add some coconut shavings, which I've dehydrated. Then, to add up some color to the dish, to the gravy, I have nice herb oil made. It's nice and green in color. See, there you go. Nice color to the dish. This is an herb oil, which is made using the co coriander stem and the basil stems. So you're not wasting anything. You're using every bit of it. There you go. That's the reason why I called it version 2, right? It's different. And that's about it. We're gonna use, we're not gonna keep the pizza pedal empty. I'm gonna use some Thai aromatics that we have already used in the dish. So that helps in presentation the galangal, the Thai basil, the lemon leaves, and some dangerous bird eye chilies that could seriously harm if you do not eat spicy food. Then we have some microgreens that could add up to the dish as well. So here we go. Some microgreens pulled out from the muck from my garden. Okay. And that's almost to an end. There you go, few more. Last thing I would love to add is this pea flour or some edible flours. Any edible flours would add up to it. Just to add up that color to the dish. Look how vibrant it looks. First, when I started compiling it, you might be wondering, hey, it looks a little sad. But now, it is colorful. The more the color, the better it looks. Okay. So, some honey flours. There you go. Very simple, but presented in a very, very artistic way. So, that's my take on cauliflower green curry version 2.0. That's the main reason why I call it as version 2.0. As it's very different, very easy to make, where we make the different elements. And then, compile everything to a beautiful dish. Now this dish can be served with jasmine rice or just plain steamed rice. Quickly I'm going to give you a recap on this. So to make the cauliflower green Thai curry version 2.0, there are different elements to it. So the first element what I made was infusing the coconut milk. I infused the coconut milk with the Thai aromatics, which is the Galangal Thai ginger, lemon leaves, lemon grass. You can, someone has asked if, can we add chili in the infusion? Yes, we can add chili in the infusion as far as you are okay with the spice because Thai chilies are spicy. 
So we create the infusion, we can infuse it for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, we can go up to 45 minutes. We leave it for infusion, the coconut milk. Then we move on to the next element, which is the veg mayonnaise. To make the veg mayonnaise, we use one cup of milk, amul gold, two cups of vegetable oil, five ml of white vinegar, and 10 grams of sugar. In that I added a pinch of salt as well. Once the mayonnaise is blitzed, we're gonna create an emulsion using basil, fresh basil and fresh coriander. So that was equal amounts of both added into the same blender in which I created the mayonnaise. Once that is ready, your second element is ready. And the last is pretty simple. I took the cauliflower, I cut it into florets, I blanched it and I caramelized it. Once it got caramelized, I directly took my presentation bowl, I added the cauliflower first at the bottom, then the emulsion, I used a squeezy bottle, you can use a piping bag, piped it all over so it adds that creaminess to the dish and lastly poured my infused coconut milk into the bowl. And for presentation, as you can see different condiments I have used. First, I used the pickled chilies, then I used the peanuts, puff rice, shavings of or dehydrated coconut, fresh coconut, and some edible flowers and a nice drizzle of a green or the herb oil. So that's my take on the cauliflower green Thai curry version 2.0. As you see 2.0, the first version was absolutely different. The cooking style, the blending of spices, very different. And this, that's the main reason why I have named it as version 2.0. So once again, I would like to thank my manager, Sashank Sir and Abhishek, the technical guruji for us for today. Uh, and all the support from the staff, from the students, ex-students, Justin who is behind the camera and all the supporting staff from our college. Thank you so much and I'll see you definitely someday with another recipe on the same channel. Thank you, bye bye, take care, keep smiling, cheers.